Hi, Sandra Gerard from SandraTWP.com, the worthier part, and I'm going to take some time today and talk with you about SpellingClassroom.com. This is a great website. We've used um, several uh, spelling websites on the web. Um, this one is the first one that we found that I felt like has really been a great fit for our family. It's let us customize in the ways that we need to, and we still seem to get tons and tons of advantages by all the activities that are available. Um, I'm going to go ahead and log in as a student so that you can see how it works. So the first thing that is going to come up for this uh, particular student who is a fake student that I made up is a kind of a dashboard and um, there will be all of the lists that are available to this student and um, I am just using this grouping called teachers word lists in our family we have our own spelling curriculum that we use and this particular curriculum has a lot of lists but it does not include um, learning activities. That's on me. And um, for that reason, I have often gone out in search of puzzles and spelling activities, um, fresh ideas to bring back to the boys. And here, everything seems to be wrapped up in one place. So in the list, when your student logs in, they see the list name, whatever you choose to name the list. There's a start, which we'll come back to that. There's a word list course overview. Um, they could print a study guide. They can text the list to themselves, or they can email the list. Let's go ahead and jump in where it says start beginning lesson, because here's what I want to show you, which has been so impressive to me as a parent and as an educator. There's a series of activities that you're going to see in a column here, down the right side. Okay, sorry about that. I'm back. That was my 2 o'clock alarm going off to tell people that they need to get ready for our afternoon activities, but I'm sure that I have time to finish this here with you. So as I was saying, let me hide myself for a second. Down the right side of the screen, you see this column of activities. It starts out with an introduction to the list, and then the student, as they complete each one, progresses to the next. So it keeps things fresh, it keeps things interesting, and it keeps them practicing their spelling list and practicing the words. And it goes right down through a quiz and a test. Now, after the test on spelling, it begins activities that focus on vocabulary. There are flashcards, definitions, working with synonyms and antonyms. There's a crossword puzzle. That's great for definitions. Um, personally, I, I love crossword puzzles for reinforcing spelling words with my boys. Um, and I will say this. These activities have been so engaging. Um, I told my children, since we do vocabulary studies separate from our spelling, that I did not expect them to do the act activities for each list after spelling tests, but they have opted to willingly do all of the rest of the activities. So I think that says something really positive about what, uh, what they find when they come into Spelling Classroom. Okay, so I'm going to log out now as a student, and I'm going to log back in as a teacher so that I can see you, show you what I see when I log in. There we go. So I just need to wait a couple more seconds until the, all the invisible parts of the page are loaded. So as I was saying, we have used several different spelling websites and um, I always kind of found that they didn't really work great for us since we already had a curriculum that we were committed to. Um, when I was taking a look at spellingclassroom.com, I was a little hesitant because I didn't know if we would run into the same problems, and we have not. It's really been great. Um, here is where I control the lists that are going to be available when my students log in. As you can see, I have the teacher's word list turned on and the spelling classroom word list turned off. I can go ahead and turn those on 
And you can use the spelling class from word list. You don't need to have your own separate spelling curriculum like we do. You can come right in here and Spelling Classroom will have word lists for you based on the grade level, based on different learning activities, based on vocabulary word lists by grade. Still waiting for the page to finish loading. Um, there are even activity lists for um, the bestsellers novels course, which I'm going to talk about a little more in a minute. Um, everybody always loves those holiday word lists, and they've got them all set up here for you. We can work on SAT words. Um, this is a really nice feature, and you can pick and choose how many, if any, or if all of these lists show for your students. Um, if you want to create a word list, all you do is you come in here. You click on create a word list. It's going to default offer you spaces to put in five words. Um, you can add words, add slots for words by clicking down here, add one word, add five words, add 10 words. You can remove a word by clicking on this X. You just type the word in here, and I'm gonna call this fake list, This, or I should say demo list. Um, and I'm going to put this in I'm going to put this in with the teacher's word list. That's where I want this one to go. So I'm going to put cat, Matt, uh, Pat, and um, come on, ludicrous. And I'm going to misspell ludicrous to show you what happens. I go ahead and click save. And it says can't accept that word. So let me show you here. It says this word is not in our database. Please delete it or change it. So ludicrous is that there let's try that one and it went ahead and saved it um sometimes if your word is close enough to something else in the database the system will make a suggestion the only i would say shortcoming that i found is if your word is not in the database you cannot add it um to be honest with you, from my perspective, that kind of puts it on an equal footing with other websites that I've been on. There are some websites that will allow me to add the word to uh, the list, even though it's not in the database, but then it wasn't helpful for me because it wouldn't use the word in any of the activities. Um, I have found that most words are in the list, and I'm going to go ahead and show you here in reports um, some of those words so, so that you will see the level of vocabulary that is being covered here in spellingclassroom.com. Now, um, as a parent, before we were working on this site, I was very, very involved. I knew what my kids were doing every single day in terms of studying their spelling list, exactly how they were approaching it. Um, spellingclassroom.com has made them a lot more independent. So I can't put my finger on and say exactly what each boy did each day to study spelling. An advantage that it goes is I can come right in here though and click on report and I'll be able to see what the boys have done on each test, on each quiz. This particular report that I am clicked on now is going to show me the incorrect words that it got on the test. So it's going to show me spelling tests and it's going to show me vocabulary tests and it's going to show me which words they got incorrect. So here you can see if there's nothing in the column words incorrect, there's nothing there, but otherwise it shows me the word trophies. Um, this particular one, this is from uh, at the end of last week, and I need to have a little meeting with this young man because I happen to know that he knows two of these words very well by definition. Um, I guess he doesn't know the other one for sure for spelling, but he misspelled them. I need to find out what that was if these were typographical errors. But we just, this is a way for me to see quickly what needs to be corrected. But just the fact that you have a system that's accepting words like Qatar and nice, then you know that you aren't working with just entry level spelling words. This is going to be something that your family can work with and stay with 
because it will keep working for you as long as you find that it is working for you. You're not going to have to stop when your child gets to more advanced vocabulary. So I'm logging out now. There's one other page that I want to show you. This is a huge bonus for me on this site. Spellingclassroom.com has created these free novel studies. So when you come to this page, and why won't you scroll down? Okay, there we go. You can see all of these are bestsellers, and there are links to them. If you don't have them, there are links to them where you can view them on Amazon. Um, but there's no reason that you have to get them from Amazon. If you can get them from Amazon, honestly, if we can get them from Amazon and put them on our Kindles, that is definitely something that I will consider. Um, if we can get them from our library, our library has uh, access where we can sign books out in Kindle format. I will probably do that and send the books to my boys' Kindles. But otherwise, um, we may sign out the books uh, in hard copies or we may actually have them in hard copies. Sorry about that. That's my alarm reminding me we need to get on with our afternoon activities. Okay, so any one of these books, SpellingClassroom.com has created a series of activities for working through the book, for vocabulary lists from the book, for spelling word lists from the book. And I can see this is a great opportunity if you look here and see a topic that your child is already interested in or you see a book that he or she has already enjoyed or by an author that they already enjoy, you're going to have a great resource online to go ahead and use. Now, these studies are free. Um, I can go ahead from within my account, because what I showed you was a paid account, I can go ahead and select those lists and make them available to my students when we're ready to do that. We haven't tackled any of these novel studies yet. We'll be doing that in a few months, um, and that's something that will be available. But this is something that you can go and check out for yourself and sort of do a test run of the site. Speaking of test runs of the site, if you decide this is something that you might want to do but you're not really sure, you should know that you can come to spellingclassroom.com, you can create a membership and you can have a 14-day trial at absolutely no cost. Now, at the end of those 14 days, you're going to have to make a decision whether or not you think it's worth taking a chance and paying for it or whether you just think it's not. Um, for family packages, um, one student is $20 a year or $4 a month. Up to five students is $30 a year or $6 a month. $30 a year comes out to $2.49 for me. Um, if you're like us, you're on a budget. And I try to be very careful about the money that I spend on our homeschooling because there's only so much money. And I want to make sure that I get the most for every dollar for every student who's involved. I can tell you honestly, $2.49 a month for the benefits that I have seen for our students, this is really worth it. And it is something that we will definitely be renewing at the end of our year. So um, that is pretty much spellingclassroom.com. In a nutshell, I really encourage you look at the notes for the video. Um, go ahead and visit my blog and uh, check out my review about it. I've written quite a bit more than I talked about here. Um, go ahead and try the uh, the trial membership. Create your membership. Create your students. Let your students log in and, and see how it goes for you. Um, I would love to hear how things go for you. Please comment below on this video or um, comment on my blog or come visit me on Facebook. I'm at facebook.com forward slash the worthier part and uh, let me know how this works for you. Thanks so much. I know this has been a really long video for me. There's just so much going on in this particular website. I cut it back as much as I could. All right, you have a great afternoon.